Hello and welcome to your favorite channel, Marketing Learn Chain, learning through a chain of snippets. I am starting a new series titled Difference Between. Today, I am going to talk to you about the difference between research methods versus research methodology. You can expect down the line videos on linear regression versus logistic regression, supervised learning versus unsupervised learning, etc. But right now, methods versus methodology. For understanding this difference, let us start from a tangent, the so-called out-of-the-box view on what is perfection. As this channel firmly believes, there is nothing to beat a picture, nothing to beat an analogy. Look at picture number one, perfect balance of uneven stones. Picture number two, perfect poise of a ballerina. Picture number three, a perfect shot of Mahendra Singh Dhoni. These are imageries of what we perceive as perfection. Remember, perfection at this point is only a perception. There is no measurement associativity to it at this point. This single image, this single image took the word perfection from perception to measurement. Nadia Khamenei, then just a 14 year old, demonstrated to the world in Montreal Olympics 1976 that perfection can be measured. Unfortunately, the instruments were not programmed and the iconic Swiss watch could record only up to 9.99. So when Nadia hit the so-called perfect 10 in the uneven bars, it showed to the world 1.00. What a classic irony. But from that day, we learned to measure perfection. Research methodology is that perfect lens through which we can analyze a given type of problem. It is that perfect approach for measurement that aids in a given type of decision making. Research methodology is that lens which can identify, understand, select, measure, process and analyze data for solving one type of problem. So what are we talking about is one type of problem. You would have heard that famous phrase, different strokes for different folks. This logic applies equally well to data. Let us look at some completely different types of problems. Problem number one, other things remaining the same, the salaries of men and women are different across multiple industries. The key word here is different and hence the problem is a comparison problem. You have a set of data with a particular mean and a particular variance around that mean, another set of data with a very different mean and a set of variance around that mean, two normal distributions if you may. And how do you compare between these two distributions is one type of problem. A completely different problem would be factors that can predict the probability of a heart attack with weightages for each of the explanatory variables. They could be obesity, smoking, hypertension, diabetics and what not. The key word here is predict and the problem is obviously a prediction problem. How do I predict given the behavior of a set of variables what could be the probability of a heart attack for a given patient. Now, obviously, this is very different from the previous problem of comparison. Now, look at the third one. A set of decision variables which can help a machine to identify and segregate the so-called spam mails. Good mail versus spam mail as segregated by the computer is a classic classification game. So comparison, prediction, classification, etc. are very different types of problems. Each of them is a different type of methodology. If 
Comparison, prediction, and classification are methodologies. Then what are methods? Methods are those techniques and tools by which we can derive our desired output. Take again classification as an example and you suddenly get a slew of possibilities to classify. Random forest classifier, naive base classifier based on base theorem, logistic regression, decision trees, support vector machine, k nearest neighbor algorithm. Each of them is a method by which we can implement the methodology called classification. Since we started with the definition of perfection, the question now is which method is perfect? And the answer, this is my point of view, is probably none a perfect from a guaranteed results point of view. So from a methodology point of view, there is always a perfect methodology for a given type of problem, but there is seldom a perfect method. Let us continue with the classification example. A disclaimer at this point, this video is still about driving the difference between methods versus methodology. Classification is only an example for this video. More details about classification models would come in a later video. So let us now go for the trade-offs. Which is more important from a controlling point of view? False positives, the so-called type 1 error, or false negatives, the so-called type 2 error. Statisticians would call this as high specificity versus high sensitivity. In a simpler language, in today's corona world, a false positive is someone who does not have a corona but is tested positive and asked to go on a quarantine. Is it bad? Yes, it is bad. But what's a false negative? Someone who has a corona but who is tested negative and asked not to take any medicines. Is it bad? That is terrible because it not only spreads disease within him, he can spread disease to the community. So the implication of false positive on false negative or type 1 versus type 2 are not the same for different nature of problems. Take a very different perspective of accuracy versus interpretability. Take an ensemble model like a random forest. It can use complicated algorithms like bagging, boosting, stacking, etc. to build a very high accuracy. But then what goes for a toss? The interpretability, the explanation goes for a toss. Difficult to comprehend in a simple language. But at the other extreme, you have the basic logistic regression, easy conceptualization, quick interpretation, but accuracy, well, not obviously comparable to a random forest. Take a completely different dimension again on what is the output class. Is it a binary or is it a multi-class? Many outputs could be simple dichotomous, true versus false, yes versus no sort of outputs. Many outputs can be a multi-class output. A logistic regression can take binary, whereas there are so many classifier models which can handle multi-class outputs. So sum and substance, there is nothing called the so-called perfect method. There is no one shoe that fits all. Summing up this video on methods versus methodology, for a given type of problem, there is an obvious, natural, perfect research methodology approach to solve it. You cannot get it wrong. But for every research methodology route, there are many techniques and tools by which you can arrive at your desired output. And each is a research method, which is a fair trade-off between specificity versus sensitivity, accuracy versus interpretability, bias versus variance, binary class versus multi-class, small sample size versus large sample size, so on and so forth. Let me conclude with an analogy from cricket. Look at the batsman's wagon wheel and you'll find an interesting arc 90 degree arc between point and wicket keeper. If you want the desired output of scoring, runs, 
then the basic shot which you need to do is the cut in this entire 90 degree but the angle of the cut is a function of the pitch of the ball the swing of the ball the lift of the ball the timing of the stroke the tilt of the batsman's bat the field positioning at that point of time etc which will give you a square cut the so called perfect 45 degree cut a late cut or the latest one in cricket the upper cut of virendra sevag a commentator would gush into ecstasy and tell the batsman waited sevag waited till the last moment the ball was sailing over the bat the ball was sailing over the bat he just lifted the ball nudged the ball well over the wicket keeper the ball sails behind the wicket keeper four runs and with that we discovered cricket world discovered a new method in the area called cut with that cut we end the snippet on marketing learn chain hope you like the snippet the next one is coming soon till then like comment and subscribe to your favorite channel Thank you ladies and gentlemen